Hello, this is Rihanna Miles, NASA HACAST Digital Media Specialist. Today I want to quickly show you NASA's Worldview. It's an effective and accessible tool that will be of great interest to those of you in the health and air quality communities. It allows you to easily visualize a host of air quality issues in near real time. You'll be able to download these images as well as create animated GIFs. I'm going to give you a basic introduction, but if you'd like more of a detailed how-to, we've created a downloadable PDF version, which you can find at the NASA HACAST website. First, you'll want to go to the Worldview site. You can access the website by visiting this URL. Or you can go on the NASA HACAST website, and under the Tools and Resources tab, you'll find a section called Tools. If you click on that, you can scroll down and find NASA Worldview. Click on the NASA Worldview link and it'll bring you to the Worldview website. The first time you visit the website, you'll be asked whether or not you'd like to take a brief introductory tour. For now, I'm going to skip the tour, but you can always consult the tour later by clicking on the information icon at the top right of the screen and clicking Start Tour. Depending on what time of day you open Worldview, you may see that parts of the globe are blank. This is because the satellites on which Worldview depends orbit the Earth once per day, and data isn't available until a satellite passes overhead. To get started, you'll want to select the date for which you'd like data. There are a few different ways that you can do that, such as moving the slider or using the arrows. I'm just going to type in the date that I would like to see, and I'm going to choose July 25, 2016. You'll probably want to move the map to highlight the area you are interested in. You can zoom in or out depending on your needs. I'm going to zoom in on Wisconsin a bit more. Now I'll give a little overview of the text that you see on the side of the screen. The base layers are the background images of the Earth over top of which your data will be overlaid. This looks good to me, so I'll just leave this base layer as is. The real power of Worldview is in the overlays. You can choose the overlays you'd like to see. The standard option is coastlines, but you can add borders, roads, as well as place labels. Now, I want to see air quality specific data for Wisconsin, so I'll click Add Layers and choose Air Quality. You can see that there are a number of different options I have here. We found that the two options most useful for the air quality community are nitrogen dioxide, which is an indicator of NOx emissions, and aerosol optical depth, which is an indicator of particulate matter. I'm interested in nitrogen dioxide, so I'm going to click on that. I have one satellite, Aura, and one instrument, OMI, to choose from. I'll just leave that highlighted. I'll now exit the layer screen. Now you can see the nitrogen dioxide over Wisconsin on July 25, 2016. In order to see NO2 over Wisconsin with the coastlines, borders, roads, and place labels, you can drag the nitrogen dioxide overlay down and then you will see the coastlines, borders, roads, and place labels on top of that NO2 data. You can add multiple overlays by going back to add overlays and choosing additional options. You can share this image too. Create and send a permanent link by clicking the link icon. You can also take a screenshot of this data. You can choose the resolution, the file format, and whether or not you want it zipped. Then, click download. You can also download the data for your own use. I'll select this data product and click download. Well, that's the end of our brief tour. There's more you can do, including making animated GIFs that span a range of dates. To find out more about Worldview, or for more free NASA tools, how-tos, and useful links, please visit NASA HACAST tools page. Thank you.